this is SSL Dad with Simple Suburban Living and just gonna do a real quick video on uh, cleaning up the rocks that I'm using for a grow medium here and uh, probably doing something that I shouldn't be doing but that is outside washing rock at night when it's about 10 degrees outside but hey I oh, gotta get these things done so once you get your mind set on something you just gotta do it so the rock that I'm using for the uh, grow buds is just this uh, Vigoro um, River Pebbles they're called um, these ones I got at Home Depot um, you can get a bunch of different varieties of this type of landscape rock this is the cheapest I think it's two dollars and thirty cents a bag or three dollars and thirty cents a bag um, but uh, each one of the 55 gallon drum grow beds or half of a 55 gallon drum each grow bed takes about eight bags to fill up so if you're building one of these things um, keep that in mind I had no idea it was gonna take so much rock once you wash this stuff down there's a lot of dirt in here um, you don't get quite as much rock out of it as you think so this is I don't know if you can see it in here but this is one bag it's just a little bit in the bottom of this wheelbarrow um, got to wash it out real good I already have fish in the system, so I need to make sure I wash this off really good so I don't pollute the water. I really should have done all this before I put the fish in, but um, as I said, it was cold out, and uh, <laughs> I kind of, it takes a long time to get this rock cleaned up, so um, I cut a little corners here, but hey. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, and then we'll take you downstairs and put it in the grow bed and just show you how it looks when it's done. If you've been uh, watching any of the other videos here, you know I've been complaining about this grow bed not being full for quite a while, so finally going to get it filled up. So I'm hauling down the rock from outside, washing it up, throwing it in this bucket, um, just washing off the best I can, then I'll go ahead and toss it in, spread it out, um, let it fill up with water, and then we'll drain the water into the sump tank and I'll pump out the dirty water. So. Um, if you're doing something like this or planning on building a system, I would highly recommend that you get all of the uh, grow beds filled up, cycle the system um, before you put any fish in it because it makes it a whole lot harder when you've got fish to deal with um, in the system. So just some good advice. But I'll go ahead and get this filled up and we'll show you what the final product looks like. All right, so after a cold outdoor cleanup, we got the, the grow bed filled up here. So it's finally full and ready to, to start planting in. Um, got this one over here with some plants in it, which if you've watched any of my other videos, I've kind of gone through. Um, the lettuce is dying because the pH is still too high, but it's slowly coming down over week by week here. Um, and uh, things are starting to grow. That broccoli in the back with a little ladybug on it is actually growing really good. And that's, uh, the broccoli is this one right back here. Uh, that was a tiny little seedling in there. And I've got one growing upstairs in a starter pot, and it's about half the size. So it's actually working pretty well for that. That broccoli must like the higher pH. Um, but this river rock, if you're looking to use this in your grow beds, it, you know, for, as far as I've seen so far, it works pretty well. Um, you know, it's, other than it being a pain in the butt to clean, um, because it is dirt, it comes with a lot of dirt on it. Uh, it works really well in here to, to plant things in, you know, the water level comes up just about you know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch below the surface of the rocks here. You can see the rocks are kind of wet. Uh, the bed's not full right now, but uh, you can just kind of stick your, your plants in there and pack them in. It's various different sizes of rock, um, so there's, you know, it, there's a lot of, of space for air, aeration and that throughout the bed, so it seems to be working pretty well. Um, I may even try a different type of rock for the other two beds, I don't know, just to see if there's a difference, but um, so far this has been working good and it is the cheapest, so, but... Uh, so hopefully next video we'll have this one planted. I'm probably going to fill this one up with spinach and lettuce, uh, various different types, and some kale and uh, other things. Then I'm going to probably focus this bed over here on tomatoes and broccoli and, um, you know, uh, cucumbers and other type of fruiting plants. So um, since they grow a little taller, I'll raise these two lights, you know, at various levels. So... But hopefully this helps you out a little bit, just kind of give you an idea of what I'm using for the grow media. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions or anything, throw them in the comment section. Uh, I know it helped me out a lot when I was first trying to come up with an idea for the system to go through and you know look at a bunch of different people and what they're doing. So hopefully this helps someone out. Um, if you like the video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a good one.